Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Bruce. And I'm Nicole O'Sullivan with the O'Sullivan Bruce Group. Welcome back to this month's edition of the Monthly Market Update, brought to you exclusively by Lake TV. Nicole, it's cold out here. <laughs> what are we doing? It was just so festive. I just thought we could sit out here, take it all in. It's, we're taking it in. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's head inside. <laughs> Thank goodness. Welcome back to this month's edition of the Monthly Market Update. Today we are at Old Kinderhook. It's an awesome place. It's a little off the beaten path, but once you get in here, there's so much to do. It is. Yeah. I love it here. It really is like you're not even at the lake. Yeah. It's kind of <laughs> like the lake's hidden spot. Yeah. So much to do here. Mm -hmm. We've got ice skating. Um, there's a huge lodge here, a hotel. Um, lots of conferences come in, conference rooms. Mm -hmm. um, there's even an event center. I. Uh, one of our agents got married here. Yeah. It was absolutely gorgeous. It was even snow. It e yes, yeah. it snowed. It was, it was January. very pretty. Yep. Yeah. Ron listened to the Chiefs game the yeah. entire time. <laughs> Sorry, Blair and Brian. <laughs> he thought the wedding was beautiful. <laughs> and then currently we're at um, the Trophy Room, which is a very nice um, higher end restaurant. Yeah. Very Great cool. food. They've got mm -hmm. little fire pits out front. Yeah. So if you want to have cocktails with the girls mm -hmm. or dinner with your man, whatever it is. Yeah. And in summer, they have a sand volleyball court. In winter, they take all the sand out and turn it into an ice skating rink, like we just talked about. They do hockey games for kiddos, oh, 8 to 10. very cool. Yeah, they come down, I think you said St. Louis area maybe, and they stay for a couple nights, and then they get out on the ice and play, so. Awesome. Yeah. It's so yeah, lots to do. Oh, and sleigh rides. Oh. Sleigh rides and uh, Santa. It's so much. <laughs> yeah. So if you get bored, yeah. let's come on down to yeah. Kinderhook. You can knock everything out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could go on and on and on about mm. uh, old Kinderhook and how awesome it yeah. is. But, you just have uh, to come out here and see for yourself. You really do. So, but let's get into the exciting part. Stats. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be pumped. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> we usually talk a lot about residential, you know, on water, off water, homes, condos, etc. But let's talk a little bit about commercial. Big things happening uh, this year around the lake for the commercial industry, for businesses. Mm -hmm. Businesses are booming. Yeah. Um, and the numbers are impressive. And lots of new businesses coming to the lake. So yeah. um, commercial volume is up 70%. The number of transactions is up 41%. Price is up 21%, and the days on market is down 12%. That's just wild. So, oh, it is. It it's, hasn't been like this since as long as I've been here. So, yeah. um, I'm really excited to see what the future holds for the lake. I agree. I think it's gonna... Yeah. And again, there's just so many great businesses mm -hmm. here at the lake. Um, Tons of opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Restaurants, shopping. This is the season of giving, and uh, here at the lake, we have a lot of local shops. Um, and you know, there is a supply chain issue, as everyone knows, around the world. So, you know, your best bet is to really shop local. We have some great short, or stores and boutiques. And we do, and again, a lot of them have popped up over the, uh, just since this year. Yeah. And so, yeah. go support them, yep. you know? Lots of places. Go support the big so. guy. Yeah. And uh, once you're done shopping local, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> charities that we like to be involved with this season as well. Mm -hmm. Toys for Tots yeah, that's a um, is a big one mm -hmm. that everyone goes to. Mm -hmm. And then the Hospital Ball, yeah. always one of my yeah. favorites. It's, it's fun, fun to dress up too, everyone gets all fancy. Because here at the lake, you don't really dress up up, mm -hmm. so it's Usually fun to do it one night. Flip flops. Yeah. Uh, uh, so. Remax, we do a big food drive, yep. uh, company wide. And that food drive and donation of money goes to all of the food banks um, mm -hmm. here at the lake. There yep. are quite a few. And if you want to get involved with that, just give us a call. We can uh, set yep. you up there, too. Absolutely. So. And one of our favorite charities is the Rotary Club. We're about to sit down with Carolyn Davenroy, and she is an active member in one of the local Rotaries. So we're going to talk to them and see what all they do. All right, and for those of you who have been living under a rock and don't know Carolyn Davenroy, we welcome you. She is a humanitarian and a great member of our community. Her and her family, uh, her husband Joe, you guys have been here for? Well, we've had a place here since 1986. Okay, oh, so okay. about 10 years, give or take. Yes, you know, right. She's 35-ish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, she joins us today from the Rotary. 
So well, thank welcome. you, um, Nicole, Jessica. Thank you so yeah. much for asking me. Yes, Absolutely. I'm a longtime Rotarian. Actually, have been in four clubs, both two here at the lake, and then when we were in St. Louis, I was in two clubs. Okay. And what you find about Rotary, which was founded in 1905 by a gentleman named Paul Harris uh, in Chicago, mm -hmm. and it was started as purely a social endeavor. He was okay. a, a businessman and wanted to invite all his friends to lunch. Well, it pretty much evolved quickly into a ph philanthropic. Uh, entity mm -hmm. and uh, in the, the next 116 years uh, it's a worldwide organization and uh, do so much good both in their local communities and internationally through the Rot Rotary Foundation but the motto That's of awesome. Rotary is service above self and okay. all Rot Rotary clubs are different but it all comes back to that service above self I love that it's it's yeah. a wonderful organization and it's not a religious, it's not political, but it's like-minded people getting together and just enjoying each other once a week if they can. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And we do, you know, as we mentioned, we all the four Rotary Clubs down here do fundraisers. The Laurie Sunrise Beach has a um, car show, I think, and then they do the Chunkin' Punkin' Palooza. Okay. And the oh, fall. yeah. Okay. And then their Candyland, which has been around for 37 years at yeah. Stonecrest Mall. Mm -hmm. So that's another big uh, fundraiser for the Christmas season. Okay. The Gala of Trees wrapped up on November 27th, and it was a very successful fundraiser at Wobbly Boots. Um, and so all that money will be going to local charities awesome. that help children and, and the underprivileged. Awesome. Perfect. We're excited. And then Daybreak, our big Two fundraisers are Winterfest, which mm -hmm. is always that last Saturday in February. Mm -hmm. It's our yeah. big gala. We've sold out 300 seats, and we expect that again. Everybody yeah. wants to be out. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, silent live auction, of course, Rick Bryant is there, and it's just a fun time. It's If you didn't know anybody and you walked into that room, you would know almost everybody at yeah. the end. It's just a real welcoming group. Excellent. And then the other thing we do is the big car raffle, the muscle car. Mm -hmm. um, we start selling tickets on that. We limit them to 2,500 and it uh, finishes up uh, at the Magic Dragon car show. Okay. And we've sold out of those the last. We partner with Jason Hewlett, who is a wonderful partner with us for so many years. And Very of course, cool. the, it's a V8, which I don't know anything about cars, but uh, apparently everybody likes them. Yeah. You know. I buy cars because they're pretty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Color and pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so all of the funds that you raise and everything, does that stay local? It stays local for our fundraisers, okay. yes. And mm -hmm. last year, the last two years, we've been able to give over $60,000 oh, wow. to impressive. CADV, okay. Kids Harbor, Wonderland Camp, 40 charities. And same thing with Laurie Sunrise Beach, Camp. Yeah. A lot of them do scholarships. The Noonday Club okay. does a lot of scholarships. So yes, it all stays local. With the four Rotary Clubs down here, I, I mean, if our club's given 60000 There's three other clubs that are fundraising, yeah. so you're talking That's a, huge a impact. lot of money. Yeah. That is a lot of money. It makes a difference here locally. Yes. I think that That's makes what I, yeah. a lot of our sponsors want that money, money to stay local. Right. And yeah. so right. It's, it's really important. It's very big for And there's a need. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. there is. However, we all do, uh, they ask us to donate to the Rotary International mm -hmm. for the water projects that are so needed around the world. Access to clean water is not normal in in countries and not all just uh, in Africa or South America but so uh, Rotary has developed this very simple process that um, mm -hmm. I believe it costs like forty dollars and we raise money for that and send it to the foundation and then they send it over to yeah. where it's needed and helps these people because cool. access to clean water is and it's all just about health. something yeah. we don't think about. We're just yep. so fortunate to have. Well, again, Carolyn, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for everything you do for the community. It's a huge impact and we really appreciate it. Well, so. it's a privilege to be here. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Yep. All right, let's go wrap it up. Back to the ice. <laughs> All right, we're back outside, but this time they lit a fire for us. <laughs> it thank feels God. so good. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for joining us. The lake is such an amazing place, and it really means a lot to us. We love it. Um, so if you could get involved this holiday season, you know, there's tons of stuff to do. So come stay with us, play with us. And if you want to talk about investing and investing here at the lake uh, commercially in your home, give us a call. Yes. Happy holidays to everyone, and we'll see you next year.